Yeah, it's upkeep for me. Oh, I see. This is a risk. But it's my capital. Okay. Make sure it's a, you're going to win, though, if you're going to assault. Ninja. Oh, EO is allied to you? No, what is Who? This? EO is my capital. Oh. It says allied. Oh, what? you took Who? EO back. Oh, no, no, this is your new capital. Oh, okay, okay. It's Miyoshi. Oh, Miyoshi's full stack here. Okay. I could take the Miyoshi if I, if I was just prepared. Yeah. Mm, that's my turn. Alright, Sakai imprisoned me. Attrition, quartermaster's report. Yeah, I'm making a second stack, so I can't give as much money as in the future here because I'm gonna be taking over that rebel province and then I'll be moving to a different province. And then I'll so I think and then I'll have to expand them after that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let the Takeda take Kai. Yeah, you have and to And you can just take it. Yeah, yeah. Because if guess, yeah. If we try to wait for your rebels to come, I don't think. No, no, no. My come. rebels aren't gonna come there. That's the thing. Yeah. It's uh, Takeda rebels. It, the guide was wrong about it. But it's no big deal. Yeah, this this is good. The trade ships. I'm sending them to the Indonesian Sultanate in a suicide mission to see if it's gonna work or not. It's worth it for me. See, I put him in like two or three turns at Omi. That's the thing. So it's like 17 per turn in the very beginning. That's if like accounts for your your current thing. So for some reason, I thought it was Omi was enemy. Hmm. I wasted it because I could have put it into Mino and it would have been already at 55% right now. But that's my bad. Like the, the icons look very similar. <laughs> so I'm going after key. This is what Yamato. this this is what you should do because I'm going to be continue building temples and it's going to it's definitely going to start affecting you strongly as it goes on. So I I should take I should keep going Hojo and you should peace Hojo and you take Sakai back all of it. But no vassal of course, just all Sakai. Right. And try not to make another vassal because it seems to be not working. Well, Sakai yeah. was working, it's just oh. too successful. Yeah. <laughs> Sakai actually was a really good uh, vassal. It's just that realm divide is unavoidable, which is stupid. But... That's also what I want to do for when, we're, like, when we do another Shogun 2 one, is actually uh, where we we don't do what's it called. We, we use like Radius Mod or whatever, so you can actually keep your vassal before realm divide. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go after Key and Yamato. All right, but gonna... I see he has a huge army of an Awari.
I'm gonna have to go through Sagami to get to Izu. He's, I, I can't pay for uh, Revolt right now. But Eco's at 41 now, so it should be decent enough. Please don't build a temple in Izu. I have to. Well, don't build a spreading temple. Oh, right. What's the spreading temple? The monastery? Uh, it. Let me see. I'm gonna check. So, you when you you can when you keep upgrading it, it eventually will spread out. So what what's the spreading one though? Yeah, I don't upgrade all my temples though. Like my my Echi Zen one is actually only a grade one. Grade so one. So a Judo Shinshu temple. Okay, is Judo. The default. Yeah, I don't, that's that's what I don't have one for. Omi, that's me because I sent my monk there. See, I don't have a Jodo Shinshu temple yet. I, I'm not gonna, I won't build one there. I'll just use my monks to capture the rest. I do have one Jodo Shinshu at North Shinano because that's where you gotta put it. It'll, it then oh, it... I, okay. Never mind. They all spread. I thought it was you had to upgrade it to a certain degree. Yeah, it's grade one spreads it, but that's the thing is like I just gotta make the temple. Not okay. I won't make a temple at there. It's gonna cost too much, and it's mostly converted anyway, so it's all good. I'll just have to garrison it. Yeah, I could just garrison it, and then I'll I'll take Segura, Segura. Now after converting, I'm gonna take my full stack and go to Izu because the Takeda they can just deal with it for now. One, two, three, four, five. I'm close to having two six star generals. Except my son is more honorable than me. Oh, Ashikaga broke the partnership. The agreement, the alliance? Mm -hmm. mm. I didn't even notice that. And Mogami is about to break my alliance. They're friendly only. They used to be very friendly. Let's see. Let me try something. I can't even arrange marriage with it. Trading with Sagara instead. Probably Shoni as well. Let's see here. Yep, trading with Shoni as well. Replaced. So the game actually crashed at the end of this battle that you'll be seeing. It's actually a pretty decent battle, so I'm including it. But uh, after this crash, we end up having to return back to the end of my previous turn, which you watched just a moment ago. <laughs> the thing about it is that you, can, you can get to Shaka Zulu in uh, Medieval 2, West, uh, Eastern Africa. 
Oh, what? Yeah, you can. That's the crazy thing about it. It's such a great game. You get Shaka Zulu unit, like their uh, African spear unit with like the shields. The info, something like that. They're not that good. They're just really, really strong, but no armor, of course. And then they're very disorganized. So they're good as mainly midline or like uh, just a uh, meat shield. But if you upgrade them, they're so cheap, and then they just get like huge morale, and then they're just like lone sword basically. They don't have a huge amount of people in their unit though. It's like it's like basically a stronger lone sword, less like sword attendants. Hmm. But yeah, what medieval two I had like a huge thing for uh native units because you could just go to native lands and then recruit the native ones. Rome two has that too, right? You just go to native territories and then just recruit them. Kind of. Uh they have like mercenaries. Yeah. Type thing. It's like that. Except this is like native, like each village is a different region and culture. So when you take over there's this minor some a little bit culture shock, but not much, and then you can take get their native uh culture units. Uh, there's no culture shop for it. Ah. For Rome, too. At least not that I can remember. Yeah, the main force is like way o away. Oh, they're coming in. Vatican City really did become Vatican City, Christian. <laughs> uh huh. That's so funny. It's so funny how things turned out, like, literally, as the jokes. Sakai being too strong, it was true. Uh, Vatican City became Christian. Becoming Vatican. Yup. Oh my goodness, Bo, please listen and return. No. Oh, you gotta burn your stuff soon, right? 
Mm-hmm. Oh, imported match locks from Christianization. It's all right. Match lock are worthless in attacking. Are they like European? It's, what is this? Oh, no, no they're, they're they're Japanese with access to match locks. European match locks. They're not even match locks. They're archivists. Oh, nice. So it's like um, it just has a string, and you just set it on fire, and you just hold it. It doesn't have the the trigger. Pretty primitive. <laughs> I swear, if I win this, they're winning so far, both sides. They're sending their samurai now. Those bow ashigar are shattered. You have to support your other units. I know he had Onobushi. Uh, you had to upgrade your castle to a certain point. Ah. Uh. Oh shit! Oh shit! It crashed. What did you do? <laughs> wow. Did you see that bullshit? I'm telling you. No, because I have had problems. It says sometimes you don't have certain DLC, and then you activate it mid campaign, then it can corrupt the joining. Oh, I. Yeah, only mid campaign, not beginning. Not in the beginning. Nah. Yeah. But I took the risk. I was like, yeah, I want to have Blood Pack. It's only DLC I'm missing, so I was like, it's, it's cheapest. $1.50, so I was like, yeah. Tell me how it is. Yeah, yeah, I'll find out today. I haven't really used it or played the Shogun. Did yeah, some, like uh, they Napoleon. They remove it so that they could sell it at T for teens. <laughs> he already betrayed me. Oh, yeah, this is fine. I think this is correct. Okay. I have to find a way to keep these samurais and just chain link like all of my lands that I lost. Yeah. It's, the main I goal is now to. Take over all of Sakai. That should be your primary. That means your economy will be boosted right after you do that. Because those are the rich lands. Yeah. So, so I have to just retake land. I don't really have to... Because I feel, I feel like this mountain... Or not this mountain, this banding would hurt me more. Yeah. I got the Wakasa and I'm going to get Mino. But everything else then 
you can get. Because I'm starting to convert Nino, and Wakasa is pretty much converted as to make a stack. So this is going to happen again as we continue. So the solution is me saving a lot, and then also if you get a victory, and then that's the thing I want to do. It's if you get a victory, and then you have to play it again, I'm going to just destroy the army. So we'll do that next time. We'll stop for that day. If I get a victory? Mm -hmm. Like if you or I get a victory and get crashed to desktop, then I'm just going to destroy the army, as in with, uh, with, the, with the cheat command here. That way, don't have to play it again. But... Wouldn't the game end if we just got a victory? Oh no, what I mean by destroy army, I mean the army that's sieging you, and then you get heroic victory, and then uh, it crashes desktop, that means you have to fight the battle oh. again. Then I'll just destroy the I army. See. Yeah. Just that, that one. Not the whole nation, no. That's too boring. No. No, when you said victory, I thought you meant like we won the game. Oh no. That's right. No, no. When, heroic victory, like, you know when you got, like, heroic, when, you got when heroic you... victory when you didn't intend to win the Takeda Rebels? You're actually supposed to get crashed to desktop usually when that happens. But it didn't, especially on a huge unit, because we have a huge unit right now. But... Mm -hmm. Um, what is the Hojo's power, by the way? Uh, let's see. Uh, Mighty? Okay. Well, I'm pretty confident that they're not going to destroy anybody, because Mogami is also fighting them. And, uh, so you can focus on Sakai. Um, get some Hoja ones that you feel like getting, and then focus on Sakai, and then support me as I take most of the Hopo Hojo. Because Amako's not going to be able to really bring their stacks to me, because the Rebel is kind of... And you, and your regions are blocking. Uh, any... I might... Hmm? I might take Musa Musashi and then peace mm -hmm. out. Yeah, I think it would be good to peace out. You already have Musashi and then it adds a lot of money, right? That's what you said. So take that and then peace out and then focus Sakai and then you should be able to connect again after you take Sakai and it's going to help. And we'll restart trade again. It's going to help for me. Yeah. If I, I feel like if I was to just peace with Saga me, I'm going to have to build a navy to I won't be able to go to Kai. I'll have to like go all the way. You get what I mean? Like, for if I was to peace out with Sagami, I mean with Hojo, I'll be landlocked in Sagami, and I'll need to have a boat. And my only closest coastal land will be in Setsu, right next to Kyoto. You, you still you have Setsu right now, right? I have Setsu. Okay. Yeah, you have to peace out with Hojo so that you can focus on Miyoshi and the Sakai. Because, so you can retake your land there. That's what's causing unrest because you don't have your capital, I think. I think that's got minus one global. Yeah, it's not a really good situation you're in, but I think you can do it. Alright, let's see here. Gotta recruit more units here. Uh, when you do take Kai, can you not build a temple in Kai but in North Shinano? Yeah, yeah. I put I put a temple in Shinano. I'm not gonna build one in Kai. Yeah, because like. Shinano, you could spread it to Kai, but if you go there in Kai, it's gonna spread to my van as well. Yeah, that, that's what happened. This Hojo battle, that's what happened last time when we fought it. And they'll siege you if it's the same. It might be different now that it's slightly different. Everything's probably in base. Mm -hmm. so they usually do the same stuff. Is this the battle that I fought last? This is the one. Yeah. Let me see. Cause the issue is, I was, I think I was winning last time. Yeah, you're close. You're you're close to winning. About you had three Naginata left. They're gonna kill you though. But this is gonna be hard to recreate that. 
I'm feeling like I could. I just, I don't want it to crash. Yeah, I know. If it does again, I'll, I'll, I'll destroy the armies. I'll have to reconnect though. That way we can do it. Because once there's a game breaking right. bug, it says there's too many. You can't fix it, and then you can't even finish the campaign. And that sucks so bad. But I researched a lot into it, forums and stuff, why it was happening. Uh. Takamatsu, 1562. I can't lose this one, this is like my best castle. <laughs> I, I'm thinking I lose it though. It's, even like, though is... last time where you were winning, it's like three knocking out a samurai were coming up fresh against your, your uh, nuns. So I'm like, oh yeah, it's over, but it was, you still got most of them. So the strategy was to destroy the army with like a trainer, a Shogun 2's trainer on co-op. But being that it's a multiplayer server, we're not doing LAN. And when we transferred this game to a LAN, uh, it didn't work out because it started on multiplayer. So we dis we decided not to risk VAC because if you play online, you can get VAC for Shogun 2. And we didn't destroy the armies, even though we had more crashes along the way.
Our men are running from the battlefield! Shame for this play! Taking the tower! Our general is in grave danger, my lord! Our entire unit has perished, my lord! <laughs> the routing in the block mentions is that's pretty useful. <laughs> See, your Velocidar is acting like a spear wall there when they're knocking out of And then they finally run after. Because they were already routed, but it got stuck on the gates. And then able to shoot the knock out the same way. Yeah, this is where it got crushed. Basically, these three knock out us. Right as they're charging. This time, there's less because you killed them more, but at the cost of losing more Yaris. It was better the first time. Mm -hmm. But it was still going to be a loss, I guarantee you. Because there's another mm -hmm. unit down here. That was when also in the crash because you sent your Onabushi down there and they're gonna get charged by three full units of Naginatas. The first battle you routed like a mass route on the right side of the Yaris. Then you were able to focus on here.
The men are fatigued, my lord, and some must rest. Our entire unit has perished, my lord! Our entire unit has perished, my lord! The blood pack is not so good, it's too exaggerated, like Mortal Kombat style. Yeah, like I saw what they put on the screen, but if you don't zoom in too much, if you don't zoom in, it's okay. The... But it's, it's like a good yeah. indicator of who's getting killed. Because when you don't zoom in, then what's it called? It looks like your units are not getting hit. But since you're zoomed out, then you're like, oh shit, blood. Then obviously they're getting hit, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a benefit. And you go see it on the banner, which I think is really cool. I I didn't notice. I didn't know that, but I I've been zooming in and it looks. Very tacky, I don't like it that much. I'm trying to see if there's some benefits to having it on. If not, I'll just keep it on for a little bit and then disable it. I remade um, my vassal. Takaka? Yeah. Oh. I should give you some honor then. Alright, let mm -hmm. them take this one, alright? Yeah. They'll do another pure victory. <laughs> Infinite Taku the Rebels. So it's Wako Pirates, not Waco. Uh. You gotta do this. Look, you should win this one. Yeah, this one's gonna be easy. So it's Wako, mm -hmm. not Waco. But I didn't know because Texas is Waco, Texas. That's a Spanish name, I guess. I don't know. But mm -hmm. it's spelled differently. Once you successfully take Sakai and Miyoshi, and I can take a lot of Hojo lands, then we're on the way to realm preparation for Realm Divide, I think, right? Yeah, this is gonna, I think, gonna be one of the easiest. Well, not the easiest, but. <laughs> it's not the easiest. <laughs> No, it's not because Sakai is too strong. If Sakai wasn't that strong, it would be a lot easier. Sakai just got way too surprise. strong too quickly. Yeah. I could, I could fix. Yeah. So Shogun Two, I would like to do that. We're gonna do the Otomo and the Shimazu campaign as Christians, and then Rebel on normal difficulty. The next one, but our general is in grave danger, my lord. And I also like to use like the Radius mod, or I think it was like the Darth mod. So it adds more units than the normal, but also it, there's an option to disable Realm Divide, and I want to do that. Because Realm Divide is actually not even historical. I researched it. No, it's not. Yeah, I thought it was somewhat, but actually it's not. Because it never actually happened that way. It makes sense. And also, Realm Divide is too extreme. It should have been like excommunication. Really should have been. Where okay. it expires. And then you can go play normally again. Yeah, like, I. When I first saw it, I thought it was supposed to be like, you have it all the way until. I thought your fame goes down. I thought if they'll go and beat you up until you, they take a, enough land, and then you'll, you know, go back down to normal. Yeah, with less you can they have, actually like, make you extinct, which is like unrealistic historically. Yeah. And it's not fun either. Especially when you see like a, a, the, your enemy oh have like a glorious an insane amount so of land that's yours. like, well, what about them? Yeah, why aren't they getting realm divide? That's the thing. In Medieval 2, other AI factions can get excommunicated. But in this game, you, AI can't get realm divide. That's ridiculous. I don't know, I thought it was really lame. I researched about it, I was like, 
is this historical and whatever and then I you know did some Wikipedia and also asked around look at answers from people and then there's like no it's like yeah I didn't think it was because I remember there was definitely betrayal but not all the factions go against one faction that's just unrealistic mm -hmm. one should make his decision within the space of seven breaths Yamato Fusine Tomo that's a long time to make a decision then, right? Seven breaths. I feel like that's way too short. <laughs> what? No! Oh, fuck. What? What's going on? I went bankrupt because I lost land. Oh, no. Uh, no honor. Oh, I lost Kai and I lost the other one. I don't think Kai was making so, that much money though. Kai is making money. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna try to get Musashi. Fuck. Why? Let me see what this Okay. Why is your religion here? Where? Musashi? What neighbor? Neighbor and province. What neighbor and province? Are you talking about Musashi? Yeah. It says I got... <laughs> There's a lot in there. I didn't even send monks to Musashi. I sent the only teens. <laughs> it must be because neighboring province, Kai. But the temples are destroyed. There actually is no temple. But the... No, there's nothing like. There's. Uh, wow. Like, there's a shit ton of eco there. 55. <laughs> That's not fair. Oh my goodness. Alright, whatever. Fuck hey, it. I didn't make. I didn't make a temple there. I made one in Oshinano to spread to Kozuke. Kozuke and. I had. Echiko. Okay, so I made peace with the Hojo. Alright, good. Let me see. So now they should not bother my trade. Peace with I'll the Hojo, with and if you can, you vassal. You can vassal Kai if to bring your honor back up. If you can diplomatically. If not, then I'll destroy you. Who? Uh, Taketa. Twenty-two. Okay, so two twenty-seven. Is the highest. Right now, I'm worried about my economy. What, what, this should tell you how much you're making. You can here. surely see that trade right. brings both superior mm -hmm. stone and friendship. horses, wood, and crafts. Oh, you don't have too much. <laughs> Also, that listen. didn't help a lot, but <laughs> <laughs> I take what I can get. Oh, you're helping me a lot though. 677, man. <laughs> Thanks for the trades. <laughs> Let's see. If, if you diplomatic, can you diplomacy uh, Takeda to make into a vassal? That way it will increase your honor since you bankrupted? Or did you not bankrupt? I'm at war with the Takeda. Oh. Okay. Oh, because I took over. Yeah. I thought it's, it would maybe give you options. This one is a rich province? Oh, I know that the, the castle setup is. They're all gonna be squished together. Oh, okay. You, just, you can just fire away. Yeah. So I'm just gonna light them up. 
I still don't know how to check the, how much you get from a trade circle. Just t it tells me the uh, number of units it's giving me, but it doesn't tell me. Like it says five war horses supplied in trade, but it doesn't tell me how much I'm making for that circle. So I don't know how much I should, you know, guard it with, or else it might not be worth it. The war horse is the probably the most important one. Okay, but I thought it was going to be silk or something. No. I mean, it's weird because the war horse is what the AI mostly use. Yeah. Silk you need for like a special building, but the AI almost never builds it, so it doesn't really matter that much. Oh, okay. So by me keeping ore horses, it just denies them the cavalry upgrades. Right. Yeah. Right. It said five trade ships is the max per nod, so I'm sending three more there. So there's ten. Oh, it's ten. Yeah. I was, I was told it's five is the maximum for the trade ship. No. You can have up to 10, a full stack. And each one contributes then? It's not... Every maybe. single one of them. Oh. No, okay, I'll try that out. Oh, that's a lot of units they have in that little small space. Maybe, maybe you should put loose formation if it helps. I'm not sure they're gonna charge in here units. Um, let me see. There's a possibility they might charge on the generals outside or something. I don't know. He keeps moving it. Men are running from the battlefield. Shameful display. Like routing towards the castle. <laughs> Can you see that?
Our entire unit has perished, my lord! Our men are running from the battlefield! Shameful display! Our entire unit has perished, my lord! Also, I would like to uh, test out... Well, I'll test it before I send it to you, but this Japanese voices mod with English subtitles. Uh, oh, okay. instead, instead of these accents, which are annoying for me, I'll try it in the next campaign. See if it works, and then I'll send it to you. Our general is in grave danger, my lord!
Yeah, zoomed out, uh, the blood thing is really useful. It, I think it tells you how many are dying. If a blood spatter, it means that a unit died. And more blood spatter means that more units is dying. So, like, the Nagana Samurai are really heavily armored, right? So, when the Ashigaru is shooting your Samurai, it's like one per volley. But oh, damn. Yeah, but if it's like Yari Ashigaru, it's just like, pup, 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 you know? They just get dying. The blood spot only comes if they're dead. So when you're zoomed out, it basically tells you how much you're losing. Zoomed in, it's too tacky. I really don't like it at all. Like, Kill Bill style. Yeah, it is. Gets old. Ouch. <laughs> Like needed to the meat grinder gates. I just need firebomb for us to shoot shoot at the gate attackers. <laughs> that would be one hell of a fight. It would be. <laughs> they had firebomb throws. Firebomb right there. Oh jeez. <laughs> Mass round on one side and to rally them. They had long Yari Ashigaru on both gates, and then they have fireball throws on the sides. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> the men are fatigued, my lord, and some must rest. But yeah, this is why. I hate fighting on the offensive. Yeah. I do this because this is just a desperate time to for desperate measures, but... Yeah, it's it's better if you do this one, I think. And you're winning it right now. It's, just, it's gonna take a lot of casualties, of course. Because they're just charging yeah. all the gates. One of your gates is almost nearly done. Like, you know, not as much. And you'll be able to get inside. It's just both samurai. And you'll just be able to get in with your general, maybe. That other gate, though, it's like. Too many. Oh, they're sending reinforcements. 